welcome to the official announcement of the 2020 Wonder League Robotics Competition winners. My name is Brian. And my name is Tim. And we are very excited to share with you this year's results. This year, we had an unbelievable turnout with 91 countries, over 4,500 teams, and just over 8,400 children participating in light of the global pandemic of COVID-19. This was a true testament to the passion and work children put forth when they are presented with the challenge. The stories we heard from families, teachers, and students were simply amazing and how they worked to overcome all the obstacles. Let's take a quick look at a recap of this year's incredible submissions. We are Team Hope you like it. We had to do a lot of tests on the um, attachment to get it to work correctly. faced with the global pandemic, we were still able to complete the tasks virtually as a team. This was our way of fighting COVID-19. And now, with no further ado, let's announce the winners in our six to eight year old age bracket, starting with the top five winners in no particular order. All right, so up first we have Kazulax Coding Kiddos, which was an all boys team of Henry, age seven, James, Liam, Mason, William, who were all eight years old, and their coach Heidi, located in the United States of America. Like many of this year's teams, the team showcased true perseverance as they overcame challenges from COVID-19. We were so impressed with their communication skills and their ability to work together, even in new and challenging conditions. The team came up with a clever way to disable the booby trap and showed their complete planning and execution process in their presentation and logbooks. Congratulations, Kazulax Coding Kiddos. Next up are the Code Crushers. Christopher, Eloise, Evie, and Hudson, all eight-year-olds from the U.S. with their coach, Hillary. Not only did this team create an attachment that could disable the booby trap from multiple distances, but it could also do so from side to side and up and down. Their law books were a fabulous example of reflection, planning, and collaboration from all of their teammates. And they did all of this with a clear sense of fun and humor. Again, congratulations to the Code Crushers from the U.S. Up next is the Puppy Loving Homebots, which was an all-girls team who were seven years old, Noah and Stevana. So their coach, Danielle, from the United States of America, worked really hard. And this all-girls team that dabbled in some stop-and-go animation for their final presentation showing their playfulness and their imagination. Every detail about set design had a purpose and it was clear that throughout everything during their, journal, during their journey, uh, they were successful. They even taught us a thing or two about the design thinking process during their presentation. 
The attachment at first glance appears to be simple in nature, but is elegant in forms working from both sides. Congratulations, the puppy loving homebots. And next up, the Robo Unicorns, an all girls team from the US. Dashi and Davida are both six year old girls, coached by Lolita. This all girls team nailed it from a storytelling production standpoint and clearly have a future in creating magical worlds in Steam. Their enthusiastic presence and eye for detail is very impressive. We couldn't stop smiling while taking all this into account that this team accomplished. Congratulations again to the Robo Unicorns. And now our overall winner for the six through eight age bracket is a team out of Taiwan and their coaches were Gloria and Celestine. The winner was a solo warrior named Zhuan Ru Chang. This solo warrior from Taiwan took this final mission to the next level. He created a set that even Hollywood could be impressed by and had a heartwarming reflection of his experience. His attachment design was unique in nature and highly accurate. His presentation and logbooks were well organized, reflecting his problem solving and design thinking. Team Warrior clearly is one to keep your eye on for years to come. Congratulations for our winner of our six through eight age bracket. What an incredible group of children in our six through eight age bracket. Now let's meet our top five winners for nine to 11 in no particular order. All right, we will start it off with a team from the US. We, they call themselves Be Bold. Uh, Anna, a 10 year old girl, Owen, a 10 year old boy, and Rima, an 11 year old girl, teamed up with their coach Kenny from the US. Uh, Be Bold is the name of their team with a clear and creative presentation, a perfect ball and cup execution, and thoughtful and detailed mission evidence items. This team really shined through. Their double-sided attachment allowed for a successful disarming of the booby trap, and their sense of fun came out in everything that they did. Again, congratulations to Be Bold from the U.S. All right, and up next is Recycle for Life, which was a United States team uh, coached by their coach Emily with their team members Abel, age 9, and Daphne, age 11. This team brought out all the stops in their quest for the Lost Realm. We love their imagination and original ideas that they brought to this mission and how they were able to push through some tough challenges. With their launcher-like attachment, that booby trap didn't stand a chance. Congratulations, Recycle for Life. All right, next up we have the Robos, an all-girls team from Australia. Led by Electra and Iris, Electra is eight and Iris is nine, and their coach Karen. This all-girls team from Down Under showcased an attachment design that was something new even to our engineering team. This team's eye for detail, innovation, and storytelling makes us think that this will, be not, this will not be the last time that we see them. Again, congratulations to the Robos. Up next is our next team, Robo Scouts Team Wildcats, which was an all-girls team who were all nine years old featuring Audrey, Bella, Katie, and Lyra, and their coach, Caitlin. And they are from the United States of America. Maybe it was the set design, maybe it was the dragon theme, or maybe it was their smart and clever attachment. But we were all blown away by this all-girls team. This team showed collaboration, design thinking, and a clear focus on problem solving. Did we mention the, their storyline? Who knows where their dragons in the Lost Realm are going? Next up, the overall winner for the 9 to 11 age bracket is going to a team from Portugal, the Mountain Explorers. An all-girls team led by their coach, Teresa, featured Beatrice and Flor, who are nine and seven years old. This all-sister team from Portugal brought the icing to the cake with their use of Craig the Creek characters in their presentation. Their attention to staying character throughout the whole process was truly impressive. We think Cartoon Network has their next creative team. We were in awe of the ballista and catapult design for their attachment and the robust and elegant programming as if these girls look familiar. It is because this is the second year that this team has placed in the top five. Again, congratulations to the Mountain Explorers, this year's nine to 11 age bracket champions.
Congratulations to all the winners in the 9 to 11 age bracket. Up next, let's announce the winners for the 12 to 14 year olds in no particular order. All right, so here we are with our, with our 12 through 14 winners in no particular order. Up first is Brampton Ninjas, which was a one-man show, Sharoon, 11 years old, and their coach, Navaratnishin from Canada. This one-man show was articulate, thoughtful, and thorough. Not only has this presentation, uh, not only his presentation, but on his reflection of his experience. Each landmark and piece used in his presentation had a purpose and was carefully crafted for the mission. This is the second time that Brampton Ninjas is placed in the top five. Congratulations. Moving right along, the Tech Sisters, an all girls team from the United States, uh, consisting of Aditi age 11, and Jaya 13, Riva 13, and Shrestha age 12. They were coached by AJ, uh, the historical storyline came to life with this team's eye for detail, their ability to illustrate their thought process and design thinking. They even added a sound activated trigger for their attachment. This is the Texas second year placing in the top five. So congratulations again, ladies, uh, the Tech sisters. All right. Up next are the Roaring Robots, which was an all boys team and all 13 years old. Adrian, Aiden, and William, hosted by their coach, Carrie, from the United States of America. This team of boys left no stone unturned on their quest for the perfect attachment to help Hugh disable the booby trap. They showcased a strong theoretical approach on all the steps taken in creating the perfect tool for Q and their presentation logbooks showing their personalities, their strengths, and their collaboration. Congratulations, Roaring Robots. All right, next up is the Q Machine, an all-boys team consisting of Andrew, Gavin, Terrence, and TJ, uh, coached by Karen. They were from the U.S., and this band of boys showed off their creativity skills in their presentation and their storyline. Highlighting their roles and contributions to the challenges they faced, this team gave us all a little peek into their problem-solving engineering brains. And check out their attachment. Uh, excellent job done by the boys at the Q Machine. And finally, our top five overall winners for ages 12 through 14 goes to Team Enderon. Navitha, which is a girl age 12, Sanjay, who is a boy age nine, and Vaibhav, which is a boy age 12. Their coach is listed as Dash Vetri one and they are from the United States of America. This team blew us away with their intelligent attachment design that could launch two balls. They based and created their landmarks off of old civilizations, highlighting what helped them prosper and their presentation of the process, challenges, reflections, and collaboration was top notch and showed their creativity and thoughtfulness. Congratulations to our overall winners for the 12 through 14 age bracket, Team Enderon. Wow, these teams are absolutely incredible this year and it really, really shows how hard work truly will pay off. For sure, Tim, and we can't thank everyone enough for participating this year. And while everyone can't be winners, we should all pat ourselves on the back for the incredible work that was put forth. And we'd also like to thank the coaches, families, and everyone who helped uh, support our students in participating. Um, without your guidance and efforts, we wouldn't have all these teams to compete in the missions this year. And due to the circumstances that we've been dealing with, your, your support was definitely needed. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And we look forward to seeing you participate in next year's Wonder League Robotics competition. So stay tuned in the upcoming months for more information and what next year's theme will be. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Good luck on staying safe, stay healthy. Keep on coding. Take care, guys.